we are going to learn about the last portion of the horizontal curve and that is the setback distance. सबसे पहले बात आती है setback distance क्या होता है तो ये ध्यान रखिएगा कि जब भी किसी horizontal curve पे आप चलोगे तो वहाँ पर horizontal curve में because of the curved portion there is a limitation of the side distance. Like if you are present here then of course, you can see only till this particular distance if there is an obstruction present here. Then this can be your possible eyesight and hence this will be the clear distance available on the road which will be visible to you. So if you are required to stop on this particular road, you have to see the obstruction from this particular location. and. If this is your SSD, then this will be the distance of the obstruction which should be there to uh, provide you this particular stopping side distance. And hence, this particular distance from the center line of the road of the obstruction which should be there to uh, provide a sufficient side distance, that distance is known as setback distance. So what is setback distance? Setback distance is the distance of the obstruction from the center line of the road to provide the sufficient side distance along the road length. But Saval yaha par ya aata hai ki sir alag alag cases ho sakte hai. For example the first case can be a single lane road as we have plotted this particular diagram for the single lane road you can assume that this is a circular curve of radius capital R and this is your capital R radius and this is your center then of course you can calculate the value of the setback distance if you know the angle subtended at the center by this particular curved surface let this is the ssd but the curve is continued even after this that means for the first case you are assuming that length of curve is more than ssd required and hence in that particular case you can see that if this angle is alpha by 2 and this angle is alpha by 2 that means central angle is alpha that means you can say that alpha by 2 will be equals to 180 into s upon 2 pi r whereas uh, the value of m will be equals to r minus r cos alpha by 2 for this particular case when the length of curve is more than SSD. Similarly, if the other case is that a length of curve is lesser than SSD, then the formula for alpha by 2 can be written as 180 into length of curve upon 2 pi r, where length of curve is given in the equation and SSD is the stopping side distance. The value of m can be calculated as r into 1 minus cos alpha by 2 plus s minus lc by 2 into sin alpha by 2. So this will be the formula for your setback distance in this particular case. If the lanes are two lanes, that means if the road is of a two lane, then of course for the two lanes, there will be different vehicles moving in the different directions. Let these are the two lanes. The vehicle in this lane is moving in this direction, whereas vehicle in this lane is moving in this direction. Then of course, if there is an obstruction present here, you can see that the vehicle in the in the outermost lane can see this particular distance or this will be the eyesight for the vehicle in the outermost lane, whereas the inner lane vehicle will have this particular eyesight distance, but the side stopping side distance available for the outer lane vehicle will be this length. Whereas for the inner lane vehicle, the distance available will be this much. And of course, as the distance available along the road is lesser for the inner lane vehicle, you have to design the setback distance for the inner lane. And the distance from the center line of the road, that is this will be the setback distance of the obstruction. To calculate the setback distance for the inner lane, you can easily learn this formula. I am not telling about you the derivation. So the value of setback distance for this particular case can be written as r minus r minus d cos alpha by 2 if the length of curve is greater than your SSD, where alpha by 2 can be calculated as 180 into s upon 2 pi r minus d, where what is d? So d is this particular distance. So what is d? d is nothing but the d is the half of single lane or half of one lane. Fine. Whereas
हो गया ठीक है फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर केस इफ द लेंथ ऑफ कर्व इज लेसर देन एसेसरी यू कैन इजीली कैलकुलेट द डिस्टेंस सेटबैक डिस्टेंस एज आर माइनस आर माइनस डी कॉस अल्फा बाय टू प्लस एस माइनस एल सी बाय टू इन टू साइन अल्फा बाय टू so this will be the formula for setback distance for this particular case where alpha by 2 can be written as 180 into lc upon 2 pi into r minus d where again the value of d is nothing but that is a half of a single line so this will be the formula is for the setback distance and hence we are completed with the horizontal curves next we will start with the vertical curves